Hi everybody, I'm Bob Kovacs, and this is the second of my introductory videos on Corel Video Studio editing software. In this video, I'll show you how to edit a clip on the timeline, I'll show you how to insert a new clip into the timeline, and I'll also show you how to use the simple transition effects so that you can make a smooth transition from one clip to another clip. Let's get started. To edit a clip on the timeline, click on that clip. Then go to the yellow bar on the right edge, and you can drag it longer. That makes the clip longer. Go to the yellow bar on the left edge, and you can drag it longer there as well. Of course, you can also use these yellow bars to make the clip shorter. So using those two techniques, adjust the length of the clip the way you want it. To add a new clip, click on a new clip in your library, and then set the in and out points where you want them. Once you have the in and out point set, drag that new clip down between two existing clips on the timeline, and it will be inserted in the timeline in the location you dragged it. You can also, of course, edit it using the yellow bars on the left and right hand edge of the clip, just like you did with the other clips. Now we're going to add a basic transition effect. Go to the Transitions Function button and look at all the transitions. I mean, there's a lot of them here. The one we want to find is called Crossfade, and it is in the drop-down menu labeled FX. So if you click on FX, there's Crossfade. This is the effect that we want right there. Now, since it's so hard to find, do a right mouse click on it and add it to My Favorites. Now when you do the drop down and go to My Favorites, there it is, all by itself. This way you can build up a library of your favorite transitions. And what you do now is, with the transition highlighted, drag it down to the timeline. Once you bring it down to the timeline, you can adjust its length. And it makes for a much smoother transition between two clips. Now that you've seen how the crossfade transition works, if you take it and drag it to the beginning of your video, resize it a little bit, it now works to fade your video in from black, which gives the video a much more professional appearance. And it also works the same way for the end of your video. If you drag it back to the end, size it up the way you want it, and then play it, you'll see that it will fade to black Again, giving the video a more polished look. That was all pretty easy to do, and those are all important tips once you start using Corel Video Studio. In future videos, I'll show you how to do things like titles, how to add music, how to control audio for your edits. But for now, this is a great way to get rolling with Corel Video Studio. Hey everyone, I'm Bob Kovacs. Thanks for watching.